Hello, hello, and welcome to another Starship Evo video. Uh, sorry it's been a while. Um, this time we're going to be doing multi-stage mechanisms again, but this time for uh, chairs moving sort of in and out of vehicles uh, and aircraft. If you've seen Captain Scarlet, uh, uh, the newer animated one, his uh, armoured vehicle, I think the old one as well, um, had uh, his uh, chair would sort of move backwards and then slide out sideways from the vehicle. Um, this will just be so demonstrating a way to go about doing that, and, but also with the, the mechanism itself, which is similar to the ABBA style sort of thing. And I think I actually used it in um, uh, my lighting uh, sort of video uh, a while back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to demonstrate uh, sort of showing how this is used, uh, go through sort of the mechanics of it and build a little circuit. Um, what I'll also do is demonstrate another use case for it, which is uh, doing um, sort of multi-positional landing pads or multi-access ones. So we've got here a uh, spaceship inside there and the uh, sort of actual exit point here, landing point there. So I'll, I'll demonstrate each of these being used first and then I'll go through, go through from there. Right, so if I get to this, push the button. There we go, all on pistons and a rotator, and there we go. I'll send it back again, but this time keep an eye on that. And all it is is building up on query blocks, triggering the different pistons and rotators to happen based on sort of how far that's moved through its sequence. So if I go to the linker there, oh, there we go. Um, so that one there, if I go to it, is just set to a range of 0 to 180 and then each of the query blocks is attached to an ore block which is just a habit of mine so you can attach multiple things to an ore block to have it triggered from lots of different places but if I go into that one it's saying threshold is 10 degrees uh, inferior which means that it'll, it'll be sending a, an on signal powered on when it's inferior to 10, less than 10. Uh, that one there, superior, so when the angle is greater than 90, it'll send an on signal, otherwise it's off. Uh, and again, that one there is 130, so that is triggering the final up piston, whereas that one is the slide across over to their piston, and that one is the initial slide out to here. The one right at the top, and it's sort of out of order of the sequence, mainly because I just put this all together as I built it uh, and that one there is pretty sort of in the middle of everything really and that's just turning the seat at that point there so in between those two essentially there as you can see 10 degrees and 90 degrees we've got this inferior trigger so less than 50 it triggers and that just goes to another all block which goes to another sequence of command so 0 to 90 change the position and a case there just triggers the entire thing all that's doing is just powering on that sequencer gate there and a nice little ore block so you can have multiple stuff so if I just sit in the chair push the nice button look at the scenery there we go. and there we go so if you built a whole spaceship a vehicle around that I mean you can even do a great big long tunnel with door sequence to open as you go along it so there we go down and out. Lots of fun. So before I go into building the mechanism I'll just show this one as well. So as you can see I've got a shipyard pad. I've got clipping on so I can get inside. There we go. So yeah shipyard block triggered for that. This whole thing is on a similar mechanism as the chair. So a piston there, another piston for up and down and then a rotator block. So if I fly out, oh, sorry, go into here. We've got um, a second sort of uh, ABA, uh, ABBA mechanism uh, on a rotator, but this time it's controlling the sequence of these doors uh, sliding down and then sliding open, and they're all controlled or triggered by a single ore block, um, which opens up the possibility of having multiple um, sort of piston-based movable landing pads. And they all slide in so from there from there and just end up moving up through and each one 
would just send a signal to that old lock so you only have to do one set of doors. I could sort of try doing that at some point but let's just um, trigger this one. I'm doing a lot of talking, sorry about that. So that in a second gets triggered. Yeah, oh, yeah, missed it. You'll see why there was a bit of a pause in the beginning. And then there we go. Up it comes. I send it back down again. We can see what was taking a, that pause. You can see it from both ways. So the doors slide shut. Yeah, I made them odd. And then you can see that the initial bit is that rotating. So you can see long ways, uh, other long ways. I suppose portrait. No, <laughs> landscape portrait. There we go. That uh, that helps slightly. Right. That is that. Let's. Uh, do a quick build of a circuit. This is where I found out I've not prepped anything. Oh gosh, right, okay. Rotator, oh, a little piston type thing. Put that down there. Uh, have I got a button? No, I need a button. Oh, I love that. All right, there we go. So I'm going to set up a, a similar sequence of pistons and a rotator block just to trigger it all. So let's start it all over from here. Get some of that in. That can be my uh, logic wall, maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah I got to there. Right. So we can have the first one. That will go there. And da, da, da. Get a little block on there. Uh, we'll yeah. Do the similar to the chair. Get that to rise up, and then a rotator on it. So it's just going to go out, up. And send them and around. Right, this can be the control for the whole sequence. I haven't got all blocks out. Let's get them in. D -d -d oh, I'll write that. So for the first all block, that'll be for that piston, for the second piston, and then the rotator. Oh, lovely bugs. There we go. Let's just make sure they're all doing the right thing. I should have orientated them, but never mind. Uh, we have a sequencer for that one. That one, the rotator will have a sequencer. Uh, what else do I need? Let's link a few of these things up. Oh, query blocks, yes. Dunk, dunk. You know what? Let's just get it all orientated. <laughs> Lovely. Never mind. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. There we go. Right. Get things the right way around. We're doing 180 degrees. Let's... I always like to have a little block with these ones just sticking off the side so I know where it's rotating. Right. There we go. Yep. Oh yes. Something to control it with. Yep. Cool, that works, yay. I'll slow myself down again. Oh. I only put this together a few days ago, the one over there. I've forgotten everything already. Right, so let's see. Uh, it stays off at the beginning. So this is the first piston. We want it to turn on when it's, say, past five degrees, because it's the very beginning. We want the second one. Superior, we want it to turn on. Uh, see, it's going to 180, so do, do, do. let's do, yeah, 140, nearly at the end. And then this one, I've not linked it. Uh, let's see. Chair, I'm going to put a chair to it, and I want it facing forward, so let's just have that uh, again, 90 and inferior. Now, that will send power to there, to there, to there. There we go, let's get that configured 90. I don't think I needed that. To the 
second piston. To the first piston. Let's get something interesting to put on top of there. Yeah, chair. That'll do. So let's double check. So, well, bleh, let's just check if this all works. So that is configured to that. That's going to those. That'll trigger as soon as it goes above five. That'll trigger as soon as it goes 100, above 140. And that'll trigger to, well, that'll stay on when it's, um, yeah, that'll send an on signal when it gets less than 90. So that being as it is at the moment, once this mechanism has gone backwards and forwards a few times and everything is sort of flip-flopped to the right power settings, that chair should be facing that direction. Or this direction, we'll find out which way it turns. So, let's have a quick test. This has probably confused everyone more than anything. Right, that's, that's always the first time's a bit weird. Okay. Let's slow things down a bit, because these rely on getting the timing right. So there we go. The time it takes for that to go around, and the time for the chair to turn, versus everything else. So that is essentially that. So it'll be about extending, adding on lots of different things. I mean, that one there, you can uh, stick that to 10 get it speed up and really blast people out the airlock. There we go. That's there. Oops. Let's get that sped up as well. So it goes down, turns, and then back in. Out, turn, up. There we go. So, yeah, a little bit of experimentation and all of these sort of thresholds are all down to how far through that sequence it is. You can extend it all the way to 360 and have all sorts of things sort of triggering. But um, as sort of demonstrated with the, the landing pad one, um, you can have a secondary mechanism triggered during, oh, sorry about that, during everything here. So... There's the main one, that goes to there, and that one there is a query block leading all the way up to there. Triggers that when that gets to 180, all the way around, so... Yeah, let's just do that, so everything goes, goes according to its way. And eventually that gets triggered. And we have a spaceship moving up. Yeah! Lots of fun. So, um, yeah, uh, comments below if you found it useful or not. Hopefully uh, this has been helpful. Um, and uh, see you in the next one.